Some of the best cameras for YouTube is the Sony a6400 and the a6600. And both cameras are great because they have flip out screens. They shoot incredible 4K, but they also have incredible autofocus. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest set it and forget it autofocus settings so you can be super sharp and crispy every time. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video and on this channel. Sometimes we do techie reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, right out of the box, these cameras do really, really well, but I've learned that there are some settings you want to adjust just to get the perfect setting so you don't have to worry about it uh, later. And so the first thing we're gonna actually do is change our touch focus mode. The way you're gonna do this is by hitting menu and then going to the second camera icon. And then on the ninth page, and I'm using a 6400, um, I'm going to go down to function of touch operation. I'm simply gonna change that from touch focus to touch tracking. Now this is just gonna allow me to tap on whatever I want in focus, and then it's gonna stay in focus even if the camera's moving or if what I've tapped is moving. This is cool for objects, but as well as for your face and things like that. So that's the first thing I want you to do. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is add your face tracking in your functions menu. And you're gonna do this by hitting menu, going over to the eighth page, and then under functions menu set, you're gonna go to your ISO, click that because you can already access your ISO from your back dial. And then we're gonna change this to face priority in autofocus. Once you've done that, you're ready to set up your camera for a fail-proof face tracking autofocus. And so the way you're gonna do that is hit your FN button. First, go to your focus mode. By default, it's gonna be the first one uh, here. And we wanna make sure this is always on continuous. Even if you're shooting photos, you want this on continuous to be able to track focus with you. Really the only other option is manual focus, which if you put it on that, obviously you're gonna have to move the lens yourself and try to lock in focus that way. So you just wanna make sure your focus mode is always on continuous. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, move right next door to that. And then on focus area, the biggest key is to just keep this on wide. So you want your focus mode on continuous and you want your focus mode on wide. Now if you got all those three settings working together, you're gonna be good to go when it comes to focus. Your face is always going to be in focus, especially if you're a solo creator, which by the way, let me know down in the comments if you're a solo creator. You know, I got a huge love for solo creators because you're just alone in your room hoping that everything is working. But that's what's so cool about this camera with the flip up screen and having your focus settings intact, you're going to always be in focus. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about is for sure the touch tracking with this camera. Earlier in this video, I had you enable touch tracking. And so Anytime you're actually behind the camera now, you have the ability to simply tap on whatever you wanna focus on. You can even tap on a person if you're filming another person, uh, or you can tap on an object if you wanna move the camera but keep that object in focus. And so that is uh, touch tracking and it simply enables when you tap the screen now. So if you just simply tap the screen, you can focus on whatever you want focusing on and you're good to go. And then simply click the middle button if you wanna exit out of it. But that's really the best settings for the Sony a6400 or the a6600. Now, if you wanna learn about the best video settings for this camera, you can do so by clicking or tapping the screen or check out our playlist on the 6400 slash 6600 and you can do that by clicking or tapping the screen as well. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.